Hi guys, it's me again, and I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to play checkers. So, my brother's here, and he's going to help me. Say hi! Hello! Why do you sound like a girl? Mm, hello. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry for the shaky camera view. Okay, I'm going to move these and these and these. I'm ready these. to roll. I, we got this checkerboard at Tyson's Corner. It doesn't cost that much. Let me check the exact price. Just in case you want to get checkers. It's $14.99. Not a lot. Anyway. Oops. Okay, that So is here's a tutorial on how to play checkers. My brother's going to move first, and I'm going to show you what to do. Trey, go easy. Okay? Move. I always go easy. So what you do here is you can only move up diagonal. You can only go in the black spaces like that. You cannot go in the yellow spaces like this and that and that and that. I honestly have no clue what the yellow spaces are for. The yellow spaces and your head. are lava. No, they aren't. Okay, that's how you think of it anyway. So what you can do is you can go over here which will block him off from jumping you over here from getting close to over here so right now you cannot move like this so if he if I move here and then he moves here I can't go like this and go back you are not allowed to go backwards so I moved here now he can't go over so I moved here because if I were to move here he can go over there and if I were to move my person over here, he would be able to go over here. Oh, no. He would be able to go over here if I move my person over there. And he moved his person over there. He would be able to go like this, which would mean he would take one of my people and I'd lose one of my checkers characters. So we're going to put all those people back. And we're going to set up checkers again. And we're going to show you how to play. So my brother's going to move, and basically we're going to play a little bit. We're going to show you a little gameplay, and then um, we're going to show you what we are doing. Okay, you go. So now he's moved over there. I come over here so he can't go over there. I can grab my person, go diagonal forward, and take his person. Now he took my person, so I can move over here, which will block this person. I can move over here so he doesn't jump me over there. I can move over here so he doesn't jump me. No, you can't. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. See? I can't go backwards. Ta-da. Now you can't go anywhere. You're going to jump me. Now I can take his turn. Uh -oh. I already have two people. He has one. So, Trey, are you going to move? Yes. Okay, so he moves there. I can jump him like that, or I can jump him like that. But both of them would take my turn. So I can jump him like this and take a person. And then he can jump me, which means I can do this, which he won't be able to take my characters by moving over there. So I can go back up here, and then he'll move over there. I can take one of my people and go like this basically you want to confuse the player so he can't move that much and take your items so I can go like this so he can't take my person so if you get the if you still don't understand just list in the comments below and I'll go check it out and I'll explain I'll make another video to explain it briefly and I can move up here no you can take back your turn as long as you don't keep it up there for a very long time. So I can move my person up here so he can't go get me. And then I got her. Three. So since he got me, I can move my person up here. Derp. See? He's very, very confused and he's a sack man. So now I can jump him and take his person. I have four. And then they're going to jump me again. He has three. 
I can jump him twice. No, you. Yes, oh, I can. can. Wait, that jump, you go over there. Oh, oops, I'm so sorry. Don't do that. Don't do that. I can move my person over here, but he's over there. So I can move mine over there so he doesn't jump me. I'm sorry this video is getting confusing. So I can and take mine can jump me. and jump him diagonally upward. And then he can and grab his can person do and do that. So I can move here so he can't go like that because his person's over there. You can only diagonal. Move, you can only move diagonally up. Even though it looks like they're going backwards, which they aren't, because they're on this side. And basically, if you're on this side, that means if you move up like this, it looks like you're going backwards on that. But you're moving up for this player. So I'm going to go back to my side. Okay. So we're going to move his person back there. And see what his next move is. Oh, he already moved. So I'm going to take my person and go over there and jump him. Now I have five points. No more than five. One, two, three. Oh my go! Four, five, and six. Six of them. All right, so go! This one over here. I know. That's not a word, Trey. That's not a word. I can jump him like this. King me. You can king people if they go all the way to this line. Kinging people means if you put another person from one of your points on top of here, another color, that means if I were to move here, he can move all the way over there instead of just moving one space. If you can't, if you want to move one space, then you can't. Well, you can move both one space or many, 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 many spaces. But you still cannot break the rule of moving backwards. You must move diagonal. And you can't do this. But you can't, but tanks can move backwards. No, they can't. Oh, yes, they can. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, they can. I am forgetting a lot of things here. I am an elderly fatty. Anyway, I moved diagonally upward. He takes his king, moves like that. He cannot do that. You can't do that. Put it back. Mm. This is so stupid. It's mm. You controlled it. You can move like this, but you can't go like this. Yes, you did. You have you to said be right. That. No. Yes, you, you be... did. No, no, and you have to be right here. Okay, I'm gonna end the video before he gets angry, and I'm gonna calm him down and come right back. No, no, no. In I another video. Do this. I thought. Okay. Just don't get angry. <laughs> okay. Go now go make your move. Trey, I didn't move. I did. Where? You have to put your king back. Why? Because I moved you there. I took your turn. I moved you there. Now I'm good to move for you. I was my dad. He's angry when he's awake. Cranky man. He move his king back there. Now what does he do? We're gonna end the video soon. It's not just gonna be like this and this until we end the game. The person who has the most checkers. I'm gonna move wins. mine up here. What he said is the person who has the most checkers wins. And yes, that is very true. So that's it for the tutorial, you guys. We're gonna finish this game in a little later, and, and we're gonna come back. Trey, checkers. say bye. Bye. Miss you. Miss who? All of you. Miss the viewers, Trey. I miss you, viewers. Bye. Bye, guys. See you later. That was our tutorial for checkers, and that's it. It's basically just moving diagonally up, no going backwards, kinging people, and winning. The end. Bye.